And now what are the complications? So uh, what, what are the likely things that can happen by doing a cystoscopy? Mostly it is a safe procedure, but there is chance that if you are uh, like, you know, uh, not very gentle with your technique, sometimes urethral injuries can happen. So that can uh, vary from superficial abrasions to almost perforations. Similarly, bladder can be perforated. And then main risk is infection risk. So if there is an active urinary tract infection, so we cannot do the cystoscopy. Infection has to be controlled. And then only you have to do a cystoscopy. And also cystoscopy, there is a great uh, like you know role of cystoscopy uh, in the intraoperative assessment of lower urinary tract injury, especially as I said in benign gynae surgeries wherein complex procedures are being done. Uh, because the incidence of lower urinary tract injury in such uh, cases is uh, varying from 1.5 to 2% of cases. So that's the reason whenever you are having a doubt or you're having a suspicion, then always intraoperatively uh, make sure that bladder, ureters and urethra are fine. And also in um, uh, urogynecology procedures. So most authorities, they recommend perioperative uh, cystourethroscopy after all urogynic procedures, we routinely do a cystoscopy. And then um, in the intraoperative assessment, if you have access to IV indigo carmine, so like 5 to 10 minutes before you give this, uh, you give this dye uh, in the intravenous route, Thereby, because uh, uh, because of this blue blue color staining of the urine, so immediately you can see the uh, ureteric jet. So that is how, like you know, it helps in identification. But since in India we don't have access to this IV indigo carmine, we go for this other dye called oral uh, phenazopyridine, which is also called as pyridium. So it comes in the strength of two hundred milligrams. So we give this on the uh, morning on the day of surgery, uh, so that this uh, stains the urine orange color. So by this orange efflux so when uh, whenever you are doing a cystoscopy because of the orange efflux you can identify the ureteric orifice also whether the ureteric efflux is good or not by the staining we can identify so that is basically about the uh, cystoscopy procedure like you know what are the indications and then how it is done what are the operative indications and then what are the complications that can happen and then uh, intraoperatively how do we make use of this procedure i hope you understood the topic now it's the quiz time. So cystoscopy is helpful in the diagnosis of all the following conditions except hematuria, fistulas, mesh erosion, active urinary tract infection. So cystoscopy helps in all these conditions except one, one problem. Which telescope is called universal scope and uh, which one is commonly used in cystoscopy? So is it a 70 degree one, 30 degree one? 0 degree or 120 degree. Cystoscopy is a must during intraop in the following surgery. Following a benign hysterectomy, 